Hey everybody, welcome back to more WWE 13 Attitude Era Mode. We are back once again with more Austin 316. Oh, hell yeah. We actually might be able to finish up in this video because there was only, what, seven matches? We did three of them, so that leaves four. We could probably finish it up. If memory serves me correctly, we're going to go into the Undertaker versus Kane match, which was a bonus match from the same WrestleMania that we did the last match versus Shawn Michaels in. And then I think there was also a Do Love match, and that only leaves, what, two more matches? And after talking about it for a minute, I think we can probably finish it up. So that's what we're going to do. Let's try to hit 1300 likes for the end of the Austin 316 storyline here and jump into it. Undertaker versus Kane, March 29th, 98 in Boston, Massachusetts, WrestleMania 14. Hey, we were just there. Ever since Bad Double D Blood, when Kane interfered in Tombstone Undertaker in the inaugural Hell in a Cell match, Undertaker has refused to fight his younger brother. The continuous mind games and events that have unfolded between the two over the last seven months since that point, however, have given Undertaker no choice but to destroy his brother Kane. Those two seven-foot monsters virtually mirror images of each other would finally face off one-on-one -on -one against one another. This match would mark Kane's first WrestleMania appearance in Undertaker's seventh. Perform a choke slam, perform three tombstone pile drivers, and win the match by pinfall. All right. See, I wanted to play as Kane and just lose. The quick hands of the Undertaker. Look at that. The best pure striker in the WWE. Definitely hit you can't expect anything less. We are whooping his ass already. Look at this Undertaker with a wrist lock. Man. Yeet. We picked up the mirror image of myself oh, with ease. Except for I have like two gloves from the UFC. <laughs> and Kane has got one of them other gloves, not from the UFC. Nice move there oh, wow. Kane, Kane reversed. Yeah, right. Drop toe hold from the Undertaker, the one of his patented moves. Of I'm going to go ahead and hit the choke slam right now. If this was Here Comes the Pain, I would. <laughs> if this was Here Comes the Pain, I would have hit like three tombstones already. That's the a regular move for me. Just so you damn Look right. Look at, at Paul Bear. Why does he look so small down there? Is he sitting down in a chair or something? Kane with a devastating Why is he that small? What a series. Nobody's backing down here. Wait, 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 wait. Why are you that small? Are you always that small? Heading back huh. into the ring now. So does, I don't know, man. That just looked really weird to me. I don't know why he looks so small to me right now. He's just peeking over the oh, bottom rope right there, taking a little suplex. look into this match right here. Make and sure his hair is good. Yeah, that's true. He's putting those Come on, Kane, don't be kicking me. Hit you with that back body drop and do my choke slam thing. Yeah, I'm looking at you, Jim Ross. <laughs> Get in the ring. Uh oh. Kane with the headlock. A nice reversal I don't think so. Undertaker. Wrist lock. Ooh, oh, here we go. Excuse me, Raph. I'm trying to do old school here. You're really oh. getting in my way. Undertaker may be thinking old school. Doop, doop. He is. Boom. And Undertaker hits old school. He should do it like Sakura Hirota and just fall off the rope. Hey, wait. No, man. I thought you were going to be hurt for a little bit longer Undertaker than that. Come here. It. I want to give you one of these. Oh, this is bad news. All right. This is one tombstone pile driver. I have to keep like a mental checklist of this. I need to get my choke slam ready. I need to get this man down again for two more tombstones. We got quite a match left. Why don't you go on the outside and sell? And I'm gonna do That's my thing. I do that. Where are you running to, Kane? Don't be wasting all your stamina now, because I'm just gonna whoop your ass when you get back in the ring. Whoa! Bumping and feeding, I see. How about one of those? Whoa! Damn, okay. That's that Billy Gunn reversal. Where can you get that? To get Are you biting on Billy Gunn's swagger? Get back up. Keep bumping and feeding. Wow. And Kane, you don't do drop toe holds. That's the Undertaker's patented move. I think the choke slam for the Undertaker is a signature. The kick. I believe, anyways. We'll see. Chop block. Nice oh there. man, I forgot that Kane's finish around this point a was a single leg Boston Crab. Into the middle of next week. Let's get him from behind. And Saito Suplex. Whoa. Oh my gosh. Turned inside. Yeah. You gotta let me finish this damn taunt. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about right there. Oh man, I didn't want to do that. The choke slam at A rep. Yeah, look. Yeah, get off me. I actually didn't want to do that move. Well, I said I didn't want to do it. I want to do a move. Man, oh, man. Let me stop. I want to do a move. Man. Damn. How does the Undertaker do that? Hey, come here. Perform a choke slam. No. Okay, well, whatever. Two tombstone pile drivers will work. I can just twist them around. Do what I want with you. 
So, all right, so we hit two Tombstone pile drivers, DDT. The camera's re real weird for whatever reason. Now I'm going to do this little... How was his thumb doing that? Look at his thumb, look at his thumb. What's going on there? What's happening there? I don't, I don't feel like Undertaker did that when he did that move. Uh-oh. Oh, I thought Kane was going for the Saido. He did not. He can hit me with that patented chop block so he can get ready for his single leg Boston Crab. Now that's how you hit a DDT. Sure. Do we have to steal it from Kane? From here. Ooh. Slap on the wrist from Kane? I don't think so. I'm going to do that same move you just did. Matter of fact. You damn right. Ah! Oh, it's hanging with the reversal. You trying to take down the Undertaker, huh? Woo! And I'm bumping and feeding. <laughs> Into a collar and elbow tie. You love to see it. Let's give him one of these. A shoot headbutt. That's for you, my brother. Oh, you're going to reverse. Yo, you dealing with the X Factor. The two lock <laughs> Is this what you want to do? Yeah, I'm fine with that, I guess. He Shoot headbutt. You damn right. Yeah. Look at my little thumb thing I'm doing there. I don't know why. I don't know why I'm doing that, but cool. Oh, okay. I got signature. Hold on. Let me check. Okay, so his signature Undertaker is always not going to be the choke slam. The signature is this. It's his. The choke slam is his second one. There we go. See, I did that last time, and it still did the tombstone pile driver. So I was a little confused when I did my alt finish, and it was also a tombstone pile driver. I must not have been pressing the analog stick hard enough. Next time I will slam it to the fucking wall. How about that, THQ? Give you another one of those. Yeah, keep bumping and feeding for me, big man. How about one in the back of the head? Hey, get back up. Why don't we do a third? Look, this crowd's going crazy right now. They love lariats. They just love lariats. This is like their favorite move. Listen to them. They're going crazy. There's a guy in the front of the crowd right there. Look at him. Austin 316 says, I just did a lariat. All right, here we go. Wah, pa, pa. Yeah, you can keep trying to do the Billy Gunn move. See, look, you're, look, you're cooling the crowd down. Just take the lariat. Listen to them. They're dying out here. Listen to this, Kane. Listen. Kane. Stop doing the Billy Gun reversal. You're killing the crowd. They don't want to see the Billy Gun reversal. What they want to see is a lariat. <sighs> see, he already killed the crowd. See, we had him red hot for a second, Kane. You had to do all that. I'm gonna pick you up. Whoop. I'll put you down. Oh man. I'm gonna do my yeah. Stick your tongue out. Don't do the thumb thing either. That's weird. Stand up. It'd be a shame if I ran at you and did this. Whoop. And, maybe it's, I can't believe it. and, not and now it's... Yeah. <laughs> for the third Tombstone Pile Driver. It's time impact. to put him away. Center of the ring. No rope break. Oh Fold his hands. Like yeah. Oh, he does a duck face. Something ain't right here. Oh, Something ain't correct here. Oh, I don't think this is actually Kane. I think this is just Billy Gunn in a Kane mask. Because something's not right here. I feel like Kane should have lost. Even Paul Bearer over there thinks he should have lost. Even my immediate family thought he should have lost. That's fine, Kane. We'll get you back up, buddy. I'm going to hit you with this power bomb, though. Boom! And I hit you so hard on the ground, I jumped up. Here I come, I am Cindy Mon. Yeah! You see that? Let me do this too. Yeah! I'm gonna give you two of those. Oh, here we go. Oh! Kane met me in the middle. No, you don't. Woo! Now go ahead and stand up. Turn around. I'm gonna beat you with a fucking choke slam. Boom. Choke slam still rules, by the way. Sorry, Kane. Undertaker still undefeated at WrestleMania. For now. <laughs> ah, 
Uh, and for doing that, we unlocked a bonus match again. I think that was the one that was locked right beside the do love match. Let's, let's see. And I'll be damned. It was Undertaker versus Kane, April 26, 98 in Greensboro, North Carolina. What's up? Hey, shout out North Carolina dudes out there. This WrestleMania rematch between Undertaker and Kane would raise the stakes even higher between the two brothers with the introduction of yet another diabolical and potentially deadly new match. Since this debut at Bad Double D Blood, Kane and his half-brother Undertaker had faced each other in increasingly punishing matches. This match at Unforgiven would mark not only the last match in their initial rivalry, but would also feature the first ever Inferno match in WW history. Oh, they had to mark this real quick. They're like, look at this. See, this is where we started winning. <laughs> we have to perform a signature move, perform a choke slam, which we know how to do now, get Kane's damage to critical and perform a standing grapple, and then there is some sort of hidden objective here at Unforgiven in your house. Sometimes I sort of miss the simplicity of the entrance like ways like this. I mean, Kane's still walking kind of weird, like he got some up his ass, but like this arena right here was kind of crazy, just because it's so simple, you know? Ladies and gentlemen, up next, we witness the heated rivalry between these two fiery brothers explode as they do battle in the first ever Inferno match. The rules are simple. There are no pinfalls or submissions. The first person to set his opponent on fire wins the match. Wrestling rules. Ah, saw Timberlay. How do you like your Undertaker? Regular or extra crispy? <laughs> you know, that's not even funny. <laughs> We've been told that this ring will be up over 200 degrees or more. But I think it's going to be hotter than hell. Listen, Kane's already felt the flames courtesy of his brother. He's lived his life being scarred by fire thanks to The Undertaker. Or so Kane's father, Paul Bearer, says, if that is his real name. Well, now the tables are going to be turned. Paul, don't call him Dick Bear. Oh, the Venus. ring oh is gosh. on fire. This is amazing. The and I'm about to take your red ass right over go. here to the flames. The Undertaker wants to oh, take you're lucky we have to get to a certain degree. Like I guess we got to do moves or something, Kane. big man. The yeah, there we go. The more Meltzer stars we get, the hotter it gets in the ring, and then one of us will die. This is what wrestling is, baby. Let's get him over here. Oh, Kane with the reversal out of the corner. Doesn't want to be near the flames, huh? And oh, no, you don't. Beautiful counter by the gotcha. Shoot another headbutt. headbutt. How come this crowd don't like shoot headbutts, man? Y'all should. The monster reverses it. We have to get... Ooh, we had to get him to critical also. He didn't even do nothing in the corner. Kane, I think the flames are getting to you, man. What, are you scared or something, big man? Whoop. Taker reverses it. I love how this is the awesome 316 storyline, and then they're just like, eh, well, it's kind of also DDT. Kane on Taker. <laughs> I, mean, I don't blame him. No, I mean, I don't blame that. Oh, oh, what a shot. I'm going to put this hand up, and you know what that means. I want to talk. And he strikes with a quick kick. Oh. Undertaker. There we go. Well, I was about to say, I definitely... Whoa. Wow, Hammerlock from Kane in an Inferno match. A nice reversal by the Undertaker. That's my favorite stuff. Oh, did you see do the some more moves. Lariat. This place is going crazy. Bump and feed. Man, DDT. That's what I'm talking face. about. Yeah. Woo! I knew you were going to run at me, man. I read you like a book. Like uh -oh. St. Louis at Bad Blood. Side rushing leg sweep from the big man in red. No, you don't. I've never seen anything in my life like Woo. this, JR. Gonna grab this you again. Great. Big boot. You're gonna take this one way or another. Can I climb? I'm climbing. Oh, we for the Bam Bam headbutt. Oh, I'm glad everyone's just huge Bam Bam fans in this game. That's really dope. That'll knock you silly. I throw a punch. Oh, a kick. It. Give me a question mark kick, Kane. I'm going to give you one it. of those and you this suck it. Oh, here we go. Perform a signature move. Okay. Well, we just got to oh, hopefully do this before Kane whoops my ass. Oh, man. Kane. Stop doing this, man. The kick. Let me go. Here I come. <laughs> Perform a choke. Get your ass. So you can sit there. 
from here. This might actually give him the critical, too. Hey, what? I didn't get him the critical. Every time I do a choke slam in real life, someone better fucking bump like that, too. <laughs> that bump rules, man. It makes the choke slam look crazy. Okay. Now, standing grapple. Stand, Kane. Here we go. Within 20 outside. seconds, perform a oh, running Kane's dive attack. Oh, okay. Like right now? Okay. Ooh, Kane got up too. He went right over the top rope. <clears throat> Ooh, the arm. Kane's on fire. Kane is burning. Undertaker has won the first ever Inferno match. Yes, he did. See, Kane had to take the fire, so later on when he sets Jim Ross on fire, you know, it's like a receipt thing, you know, you just gotta get ready for it. Steve Austin versus Do Love, April 26, 98, Greensboro, North Carolina, Unforgiven, the same show as the Inferno match. It was no secret that Mr. McMahon thought Stone Cold Steve Austin's championship reign would be a public relations nightmare for the company. After several failed attempts of having Austin conform to being a respectable champion, Stone Cold with little tie, Mr. McMahon would stoop to new lows by conspiring with the psychotic Do Love in an attempt to strip the title off of Austin. With the help of Iron Mike Tyson, Stone Cold Steve Austin captured the WWE Championship at WrestleMania 14 to the delight of the WWE Universe and to the dismay of Mr. McMahon. Mr. Austin, with my vision, one day you might become the greatest champion of all time. Nobody ah, there's the belt. McMahon the big eagle. Stone Cold Steve Austin what to do. Well, we can either do this the easy way or we can do this the hard way. Stone Cold will change. To escape incarceration, Stone Cold was forced to conform to Mr. McMahon's overbearing demands. <laughs> suit with hat. God, Austin's gone corporate. This is the absolute last time you will ever see Stone Cold Steve Austin wearing a ridiculous suit. Now, what I want you to do is bow down for Stone Cold. The Austin McMahon Dude. rivalry propelled WWE past WCW in the Monday Night Raiders for the first time in two years. An unusual encounter between the two would only serve to heighten the tension. Look how yoinked he is. One thing. You said you could beat Vince McMahon with one arm tied behind your back. Oh, here we go. Stone Cold, I know you got your heart set on putting some heavy duty booty to Uncle Vinny, but the dude has got to put the veto to this one. Oh no! He got the clock Austin! I cannot believe Dude Love has assaulted the champion! Why? Those Nick Foley punches, man. Yeah, Stone Cold Steve Austin, it's been a conspiracy between Vince McMahon and Dude Love all along. Surprisingly, Dude is the number one contender for Stone Cold's title, and Dude will challenge Stone Cold at Unforgiven. It's been the man going to screw Austin out of the title. So we must win this match, succeed at the WWE attitude moment, which is probably just knocking down the referee. There's a hidden objective probably after we knock down the referee and then win by pinfall. I, for one, cannot believe that Dude Love would team up with Vince McMahon with the big tattoo on his arm that says VKM. What could that mean? It could mean anything. I think Stone Cold Steve Austin was onto something here. This guy's a detective. Alright, we're going to the top rope. I'm going to drop this double axe handle. Well, I think Ooh, he didn't punch me in the gut. I thought maybe tonight. he would. Most people seem Look to punch, punch me in the gut. He's got a new hairstyle. His hair is <laughs> frosted. He's really into this dude love persona. Persona? What are you talking about? This is dude love. That's his legal name. First name dude, last name love. Middle name fart. Ouch. No, you don't. 
shoulder counter Ooh. by Stone Cold Steve one of those lariats. Austin. All we have to do is get our finish. All we have to do is hand. get the Stone Cold Stunner. When the Stone Cold Stunner hits, that's the match. Well, maybe not WB WWE 13 because, like you know, the pin meter. But for all the other times, I think that'd probably work. Damn, Old Stone oh, Cold gave Mick Foley like the Joshi body you. slam. That's he crazy, man. I'm glad you did that, though. With that close line. Great ring Ooh. To avoid that. Headlock? That Woo! Wrist lock from dodged. Steve? Whoa! Wrist lock, headlock. Ooh, yeah. Ooh we're going back at... Woo! Crowd, Look at this. Incredible performance here from these two technical oh, masterminds. Bop. Right How about here. we do that and then I punch you in the face? And you sell for me. Oh, headlock from Dude Love. Whoa. Headlock from Steve Austin and a punch in the face. Oh, dude love saw that one coming. He tries to punch me in the face. Look at us, man. Telling a story. That's right. Sell it. Slow it down. Whoop. Double axe handle. Ooh, the sidewalk slam reversal of the double axe handle is kind of dope, too. Punch to the stomach. These are all different ways to reverse this. I'm going to keep this in mind. Bulldog. You damn right. Neck breaker. Old Stone Cold's going a little crazy. Using the time tested double middle fingers, effectively here. <laughs> or double ring fingers. <laughs> Dude Love can come out of nowhere. <laughs> Sorry, you know you know how it is. Bam, DDT Ooh, right the old DDT. Great no, you don't. By Steve Austin. What? He just turned him inside out. Try to keep the heat on him. Damn. It's like you see these punches coming, you never see that bulldog coming though. And we never see a bulldog period nowadays. That's an old school move. Aww, power bomb. Damn, the same one the Undertaker gives. Now let me give you one of these power drivers. That stack of dimes you call a neck. You damn right. I wish he got a finisher as quick as the Undertaker did. You feel like Steve Austin's charisma would be through the roof. He should be able to get a damn finisher in five seconds. Okay, maybe not when you throw your arms up like that. That's not Stone Cold. Who is that? Imposter Stone Cold. Holy Christ! You look, got a little strength in there. What? Strength. What? Power. Ooh. Good reversal. Yeah, the elbow. He's putting those educated feet to good use. And Front missile drop go. kick stunned Steve Ott. Well, Did it get? Again with the Look at this kick. guy. Stone Absolute Cole's lunatic, if you dropped. ask me. Hit you with a neck breaker. Move. Let's grab him. And, ooh, nice the methodical one. Hold on. I'm going to give it to him. Ooh, Come on, man. See, I'm, I'm weakening the neck hey, here for the Stone here? Cold Stunner. This is a strategy. There's a strategy to this. You really have to think well, with your mind about it. Out here at ringside, but he left. Yeah, and where is returned. McMahon? Of course, the last I think maybe he should get out here. out here. It was a Ooh. catastrophe to Whoop. some. That was that Survivor Series. I'm going up to the top, to the back. The Elbow drop. Oh, no, he did the Bam Bam Man, but... Oh, okay, I'll take that. Well, All right, here we go. Opinion, One more time. This should give me a signature. Power oh, bomb. Okay, I've been terrible. played again. What if I spam middle fingers? Yeah. <laughs> that work. Says press. Oh, and there he is. Mr. McMahon himself. You dare come out here? What do you want, Mahan? What do you want, McMahon? Where's he at? Where's he at? Where's Vince? Oh shit, there he is. Why you hiding? Dude, doing over there, weirdo. What's up, Vince? Yeah, right. Let me show you something real quick. Austin, no, stunner, stunner, you damn stunner. right. Can I get the attitude moment? Picked out at one. Oh, here's the attitude moment. See you, ref. All right, what's the hidden objective here? Because Vince is definitely getting involved. You want me to go over here? Within 20 seconds, grab a chair and strike. Okay. Oh, my. Get him. Hey, hey, hold on. Everybody, hold on. Just give me a second. <laughs> hey, what's up? 
the middle fingers. I wasn't even sorry for a minute. Oh, wait a minute. Dude, love. Oh, man, that sucks that dude love is Where's that chair? Where'd that chair go? Where'd that chair go? Yeah, I'm trying to grab the chair, but I don't know where it went. Where, where'd the sledgehammer go? Is it, where is anything? Hello? Weapons? Where? Give me the fucking steps. I'm trying to beat this man over the head with something. Whoa, those steps you piece of trash. It might be a good Stand up, dude Get love. Take steps. a couple more of these before that ref gets up. Oh, yeah, give me a couple more of these. Give me a couple of them more of these. Bulldog. Oh! The steps were right there. Damn! It's pretty neat. All right, get back in the ring. Come on. Go ahead and pin you real quick. Yeah, there we go. And Steve Austin is your winner. They counted that. Look at that beautiful belt. We have done everything, which means that we have now unlocked Dude Love with cool glasses. And now for the final match in the Austin 316 storyline, Steve Austin versus Dude Love, May 31st, 98, Milwaukee, Wisconsin, over the edge. Unsuccessful at stripping the title off of Austin and Unforgiven, Mr. McMahon continued to find ways to stack the odds in the favor leading up to the Over the Edge pay-per-view. Obsessed with removing the title around Austin's waist, Mr. McMahon gave Dude Love another title shot, and for added insurance, he made himself the special guest referee of the match. Should I fire Whoop. Stone Cold give him that. Steve Whoop. Austin? Not yet. Rather than fire Austin, Vince McMahon presented Dude Love with opportunity. McMahon has his <laughs> contender. Everybody's in a suit. Vince McMahon might have stacked the cards against Stone Cold Steve Austin. Mr. McMahon will be the best he referee, is but I really don't give a rat's ass about all that. To further ensure a new champion be crowned at Over the Edge, the WWE owner would try to drain the rattlesnake's venom. Austin McMahon, I assaulted Stone Cold Steve Austin and got away with it. Since I was assaulted, and arrest that piece of trash right now. How dare you have me arrested? And then place that face. Upon my release. I apologize. A condition of apology, which I did not mean. There isn't one superstar that can intimidate Vader? me. But Stone Cold was looking to do more than merely intimidate the chairman. There's dude love. Yeah, well. There's dude love in a suit. Get dude love's damage to moderate and attempt to pin, win the match, and there is also some sort of hidden objective here. Hmm. Special guest referee matches, man. We need them back. We need them back. Please, I'm begging you. Special guest referee matches. Well, all right, let's see. If we just whoop his ass for a little bit, we should be all right. I'm going to hide that for a minute because we just had to get him to moderate. So I'm just going to keep doing all my moves, doing my thing. Whoop. Not today. Whoop. Hit you on the top of the head. Come here. Hit you on the top of the head again. Whoop. Oh, wait. No, dude, love going to get back into the mix. It looks like Mr. McMahon is going to call this right down the middle. Yes. Yes, he is. He's a real down the line kind of referee, I think. He's also very yoint. A suplex like that they only hit a little 180 on that. Hit him one of these. Oh, they love lariats. What can I say, man? They're smart wrestling fans. Punches to the face. I'm Steve Austin. I do what I want. Punch to the face again. Look at this, Steve Austin. What can I say, man? Whoop. Backdrop driver. Yes, sir. Oh, we're hitting all sorts of moves here on Do Love. He can't do nothing. This is sad, dude. Do Love. <laughs> love, dude. Stand up. Get him back in here. Hit him with that sweet neck breaker with the arm. That's right, Meek Mahan. You sit right over there while I whoop your boy's ass. Oh, he's going to try to fire back with the DDT. Ooh. You become a brawler now, Do Love? 
you know, I always thought you would view as a uh, technician, very Zack Sabre Jr. esque, if you were to ask me. Yes. Ooh, reversal, wrist lock, punch in the face. <laughs> Here we go. Throw the middle fingers up. To the top of the head. And jawbreaker from Steve Austin. One of his patented moves. And here we go. Power driver. He just injured him with a power driver. He's injured? Did you just call that? Did you just make that up? We just making stuff up, Jim? Ooh, nice reversal there. Oh, what a foul right hand. Great. No, you don't. Ooh, slap on the wrist. You're right. Ooh, technical wrestling. I told you. This guy's crazy. Look at this, man. We just know each other so well. Hit a bulldog. Oh, we just now getting him to light health, man. That's crazy. This dude takes damage. Take one of them Bam Bam joints, though. Now, come on, little man. Middle fingers. Three taunts. Middle fingers. Here we go. Power bomb from Steve. Middle fingers. Middle fingers. Middle fingers. Middle fingers. Hand thing, middle fingers. Oh, do love going to reverse? Here we go. He's firing back. Just kidding. See, he's going to shut that down real quick. You ain't going nowhere. Fez press. The crowd goes crazy. They love what they see. Big punches, moderate damage. Steve Austin, and he threw the middle fingers up. What do we got now? Moderate damage. Attempt to pin. I'm a pinning. He's going. Come on, Vince. I just put you over as a down the middle guy. Oh! <laughs> well, that'll happen. Pin do love in one minute. Easy enough. Stone Cold Stunner. There we go. You should get Shane McMahon in here. Yeah, baby. Stone Cold's done it again. I took a head bump outside the ring doing middle fingers. These finishes were all great. And with that, we have unlocked the Over the Edge 98 Arena. Well, we have now completed the Austin 316 storyline here on Attitude Era Mode, which means the Brothers of Destruction are next. All right, guys, thank you guys for watching this. I hope that you guys did enjoy. Like I said, the Brothers of Destruction are next, and that one seems kind of long. There's 15 matches at the very least from what I saw, so we got a lot to do here for the Brothers of Destruction, so get ready for that. Remember to leave a thumbs up, subscribe if you guys are not subscribed, and I'll check you guys out next time when we come back with more Attitude Era mode. See you.